As usual, we will start with the vocabulary. Now, there are many words that are related to weather because weather is very important for our lives. One interesting word about weather is hail. Have you seen hail before? Sometimes hail doesn't happen in certain parts of the world. But if you live in some colder parts of the world, you might see hail. What is hail? Hail is small, hard balls of ice that fall from the sky like rain. Now, I say small, but sometimes, in some places, hail can be bigger. It can be big and it can be dangerous. Right? In some places in uh, America, I remember seeing news reports of big pieces of ice falling down. Now, that, that can be dangerous and it can damage, usually it damages cars or homes. I don't remember and I hope it never happens that somebody is hurt or injured or killed by hail, but it's possible. So you got to be careful. But hail is just ice falling from the sky, right? So it's kind of crazy when you see hail. Actually, we have a video showing hail and this is, this is not uh, really strong hail. These are small pieces of ice and you can't really see them in the air because, you know, it's kind of a, a white sky so it's hard to see the hail, but you can see it bouncing on the ground as it lands and, there, and this is small hail. This is not a big deal. This is not dangerous. But if hail gets big, it can be dangerous and usually people, the weather forecasters will say, be careful. There's a warning for hail. And as soon as it starts hitting, people run inside, right? So yeah, be careful. But I don't mean to scare you. Hail is not that common and it's not really dangerous, but it's really strange to see sometimes. When it does happen, it is, it is interesting to see. Okay. Precipitation. Wow, what a big word. Precipitation. One, two, three, four, five. Five syllables. Precipitation precipitation. Precipitation is water that falls from the clouds to the ground. And guess what? The word we just learned, hail, it's ice, that's frozen water. So a uh, hail is a type of precipitation. Now usually we t when we talk about precipitation, we're talking about rain. But when it's winter time, the rain, of course, is liquid water. In the winter, uh, the water freezes and, you know, it could come down as hail, but usually it comes down as snow. So there are many different types of precipitation. It's just water that falls from the clouds to the ground. Uh, okay, so good. Yeah, precipitation, big word, but it covers many different types. Okay, good. A rain gauge. Now, a gauge is an instrument that measures something, usually how much or how many of something there is. In this case, a rain gauge is an instrument for measuring how much, how much rain falls. So, you know, weather forecasters, people who talk about the weather, they need numbers, right? They need to know exactly how much. So they might say, okay, tomorrow we expect two inches of rain. That's a lot of rain, right? Um, so how did they measure that? Well, they have a rain gauge that tells them how much water will fall during a certain uh, time and in a certain area. So they measure that and they say, okay, we expect, you know, uh, three centimeters of rain tomorrow, for example. Okay, so a rain gauge. Remember, a gauge, there are many kinds of gauges, not just a rain gauge. There's a speed gauge in your car. It tells you how fast you're going. It's called a speedometer, not a speed gauge. It's called a speedometer, but it is a gauge. A gauge is any instrument that tells you the quantity, how much or how many of something there is. Okay, good. Next. Thermometer. Now, a thermometer is another type of gauge, right? It tells us how uh, hot it is. What is the temperature? What degree? How many degrees uh, is the air outside, right? Is, the, is it hot? A lot of degrees? Or is it cold? Very few degrees. How many, right? Or how much? Thermometer. A thermometer is a device, a gauge used to measure temperature. So, of course, uh, we have thermometers uh, all over the world. There's two types of thermometers in use, in use in the world. Of course, most of the world uses a thermometer 
in Celsius. Americans, for some reason, still use the old Fahrenheit. Did I spell that right? I think so. Uh, height? I think height. Sorry. Nope, that's wrong. <laughs> height. Americans still use Fahrenheit. Why? They're old fashioned. <laughs> the rest of the world uses Celsius. When I came to Korea, I had to get used to Celsius because I was used to Fahrenheit. And so, you know, I was used to, oh, it's 78 degrees out. That's great. But my Korean friend would say, 78 degrees? That's crazy, right? You can't live in 78 degrees. That's Celsius, right? 78 degrees Fahrenheit is a very nice day. Very, very great day. You know, 80 degrees Fahrenheit, you know, that's, that's a nice day. But 80 degrees Celsius? <laughs> yeah, you don't want to be there. Okay. So anyway, <laughs> thermometer. Thermometer is a device used to measure temperature. Okay, good. Next. Okay, our next word is weather vane. A weather vane is another instrument that weather people use to talk about the weather. And a weather vane basically tells people which direction the wind is blowing. If you look at the picture here, it's kind of interesting, right? Because we see north, south, east, and west. So if we look at the weather vane, and these are usually on the tops of tall buildings, right? It's made of metal. It's a metal object that blows around. Blows around means it moves. It moves around and it can move, you know, 360 degrees to show which way the wind is coming from. So in this picture, we can see the wind makes the, the weather vane move in a certain way and it points to the direction that the weather is coming from. So it looks like here the weather is, well, the weather is blowing in the direction of looks like east maybe a little bit north okay so it's coming from the south or it's coming from the west maybe a little bit south um that's that tells you which direction the wind is coming from this is important to weather people people who predict the weather because you know they 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 study weather patterns okay and it's also important for farmers because they need to know you know which way the weather wind is blowing uh, that might help them plan for their uh, for the weather in the next few days Okay, next, we have meteorologist, a meteorologist. Uh, ologist, if you ever see this ending, that means someone who studies something. Someone who studies something. So, for example, I think I said before, my dad something. My dad, uh, in his career, he was a geologist. Geo means earth. So, geologist is someone who studies the earth. So, what is a meteorologist? A meteorologist is someone who studies meteors, right? No, I'm sorry, that's, that's not true. <laughs> meteors, of course, are like Halley's Comet or, you know, those objects that, that come around. That, that, well, those are comets, but meteors are, are those things that fall to earth. Now, meteorologists don't study those things. It's an interesting word. Uh, you know, why does meteorologist mean weather person, right? Someone who studies the weather. Well, that's, you know, that, that's, uh, where it, uh, that's what it means. That's, you know, it has an interesting history to it. But anyway, an ologist is someone who studies something. They don't study meteors. They study the weather, okay? So, yeah, be careful with that word. But usually, geologist studies Earth. Bio means life. So, a biologist is someone who studies life, okay? So, interesting. So, but this one is a bit weird. It's not weatherologist, it's meteorologist. Okay, so be careful with that word. So, it's a scientist who studies weather conditions. And usually, a meteorologist, uh, are, meteorologists are important because they can predict the weather. And when you watch the news, uh, probably a meteorologist comes on and explains what the weather will be like tomorrow, the next day, next week. Uh, it's hard to predict two weeks in the future, but they, they try to. And, uh, but usually it's, it's an important, obviously an important job because we need to know whether it's going to rain, whether it's going to snow, if there's a flood coming, if there's a hurricane coming. So we need to know these things and that's what meteorologists do. Okay, and those are our words for this lesson. Lesson 9 Parts of Weather Hail Small hard balls of ice that fall as rain 
precipitation. Water that falls from the clouds to the ground. Rain gauge. An instrument for measuring how much rain falls. Thermometer. A device used to measure temperature. Weather vane. A metal object that blows around to show which way the wind is coming from. Meteorologist. A scientist who studies weather conditions.